What's up, you guys? I am Chibi Joe, and I am here with another anime review. And this time, we are going with Don't Mess With Me, Nagatoro-san. Because saying Miss Nagatoro just sounds weird to me. So Nagatoro-san is what I'm going to call it from now on. Anyways, great anime. I I think this is, this is the first time I'm actually reviewing an anime that came out this year. Um... Did Brenda Girlfriend come out this year? No, it came out last year, didn't it? So, I love this anime. I did. I watched it uh, on its debut. And then I finished it yesterday. At the time of this, which is June 27th. Yeah, it goes to show how far ahead I try to get on these reviews. So, because I think this is uploading the last week of October... Anyways, anime is very simple. It's a slice of life anime. Um, basically, there is a character that we know only as Senpai. He does have a name, uh, but it's only mentioned in the manga. It's not mentioned in the anime. And even in the manga, he's never referred to it to that name. He's only, re only referred to as Senpai by Nagatoro and Nagatoro's friends. And Nagatoro is a first year. He is a second year. She's a first year, and she basically just fucks with him. And, like, the intro of it is very, like, almost perfect for it. Where it's very, like, it's annoying in how they do things, but it works. Um, the outro, absolutely fantastic. I actually have it on a playlist. On my uh, on a private playlist, I have a lot of songs that I listen to when I drive. If I'm going to drive long distances, and it's on there now. Um, I even have the 8-bit version from, I think it was like episode 10. There's 12 episodes in, the, in this season. It was like episode, well, it may not have been, that, may not have been episode 10. I think I started the, uh, the final arc. It was like episode 8, where they had like an RPG styled episode, and so the credit scene, the, the outro credits, was in the style of an old RPG, and I really liked it, and it was really cute, and like at the very end of that, it goes into like normal life, where, um, Senpai is walking down the sidewalk, and he goes off screen, and then all of a sudden you see Nagatoro just running across the screen, I'm like, that is so cute. Um... But yeah, basically the story is just them and their uh, relationship growing, blossoming. Um, because like she's just as awkward as he is. She's just tougher than he is, and so she like can hide it better. Uh, but she like you know she likes him because like she, he's the only one she really fucks with. Everyone else she's either friends with when you know her she has like three friends throughout the show can't remember their name um big tits dumb one and the uh flirty one actually i like the the one with the big tits she, uh, her design at first like kind of just like kind of disturbed me a little bit but then like the more her character shows up i'm like you know what i like this character a lot high school, I would probably ha be hanging out with this group of people being tormented. I wouldn't necessarily like it, but it'd be like, eh, it's better than nothing. <laughs> so, me and Senpai parallel a lot with my high school self. Um, but yeah, like, Nagatoro, like, and like, what's really funny is like, the first episode, she's like, extremely cruel, like, makes him cry. And then as time goes on, she's a lot more gentle with so fucked with them, but it's different. It's a lot more like harsh flirting rather than just being a bitch. And like to use something so pivotal yet, um, so piv pivotal but yet subtle at the same time as your character progression, where he learns to be more tolerant of her and really 
starts to love her and you find out like how much he actually cares for her kind of he doesn't outright say it and then um, she gets jealous when her girls are messing around with him or talking to him or like it and, but he's also very defensive of him and kind of overprotective because like in one episode I think it was episode 2 one of her friends started like reaching to ruffle his hair and she just puts her hand back down she's like no you're not, you're not doing that. Not today. Um, and like in the same episode, uh, the girl with the like almost upside down eyes. Oh, um, I can't remember her name. The one with the longer hair. She like continually insults him. And Nagatoro's like, uh, that's a little bit too far. So. Yeah, good anime, music's good, acting is impeccable. A lot of people say that, you know, certain slice of life, well, not a lot of people, but some of the people I talk to and stuff that like anime uh, say, like, slice of life a lot of times has, like, the most underwhelming acting. I want to show them this now. Um, I'll probably judge heavily for it. That's fine. Um, because I thought the acting in this was really good. It's hard to! Like, they're like, well, this anime is better, and it's like, it's hard to compare, like, an action anime, like, Attack on Titan, to Nagatoro-san, because they're just two different styles, and, like, you're gonna be doing different kinds of acting within those styles, but anyways, um, the final arc is really good, especially in terms of, like, developing the, the rolling relationship between Nagatoro and Senpai, and, uh, yeah! Um, it ends really, uh, it, there's like a little after credit scene that in the manga happened way before, but I like how they flash back to it, because I thought, oh, they just skipped this really pivotal scene in the manga, and they were very smart, and they made you, made sure that you knew, we didn't forget, it's there, um, and I just thought the way they did it was pretty well done, and I... Can't wait for a season two. So that's all I have for you guys today. This is dramatically shorter than High School DxD, but there's also High School DxD also has four seasons, and I really wanted to talk about it, about the English dub. And as far as I know, I don't think Nagatoro has an English dub. English dub. I don't think I want to watch it. Um, I don't want. It's really sad. But I don't want anything ruining the show. I may watch uh, the first episode character voices in the first episode that matter except for uh, the president of the art club who I really liked so yeah anyways have an awesome day and a good night